Welcome back folks, this is Tommy, Help with Gadgets, and we're going to attempt to do a disassembly and cleaning of the Riot T6000 this evening. And I say attempt to because this is a this is an interesting little puppy. Um, it wouldn't be a knife that I, that I would necessarily uh, carry a good bit. This is, uh, this one's pretty thick. It's got thick blade stock. Um, it's pretty hefty in, in weight, but, uh, and I haven't disassembled this knife, so, um, we're going to give it a shot, though. All right, um, looks like it is a spinning pivot, of course. All right, let's get one of my nice, handy, little, dandy, little, uh, finger... Um, tools there so I can hold that and turn all right that's working okay what I'm trying to do is just back this pivot out and it had a good bit of uh, Loctite on it I'll throw that in the alcohol bath there um, there's also this, this piece here, but I think that's just holding, I believe this is Zerka, Zerkutai, and I believe that's just holding that on. Um, but we also have some pieces here holding, and, okay, that one broke loose, that one broke loose. That one broke loose. Okay. Um, I'll go ahead and take those out. And what I want to do is make sure that they aren't different sizes. So I'm actually going to try to keep that straight. Theoretically, it could be fun if they were different lengths. I do, it, it doesn't appear to be the case with this at this time. But, again, this is the first time I've had this one disassembled or tried to disassemble it. And it looks like it's coming apart here. So I'm just going to take that apart. Okay. We have the little spring part here. Let me take this. Let's see if I can take the blade off. And so what happens is is you slide this and if this if this is pushed in, it moves it out. How exactly? I don't know. And I don't want to disassemble something that I can't get back together. All right. And it looks like the spring came off this side. It also feels like there's a spring on the other side. And I'm going to have to take the take this loose here. In order to and oh boy. It's wanting to be difficult. Alright, that's okay. We'll get a bigger. We'll get a bigger driver. All right, there we go. Um, this one, as well as as this one, can be found in the in the description below. Links to them. Um, this one just gives you extra leverage. 
and what I'm trying to do is just be very careful here. I do not want to strip out the the heads, and I'm glad that this is um, a T8 uh, instead of a T6. Uh, just a little bit of, of a beefier um, screw. And I'll go ahead and back those out. And then I'll take this apart. I'm just going to just let it lay down. And there's the, the spring there. So I can just imagine this is going to. Um, to be a lot of fun putting back together. So, and that doesn't appear to be easily moving here. Okay, I could get that off and drop that in the alcohol. Got my little springs up here. So, folks, what you're doing is you're going along on an adventure with me as I uh, open up these knives for the first time. This feels like it had a heavier grease type of uh, um, lubricant on it. And so you can see this, you can actually see this, this hole in the blade where these pins go in and, and, I mean, just make a substantial uh, locking me mechanism for uh, that blade. I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to try to get that pivot out. Because it seems like it's coming just a little bit and that's it. And I'm just not going to. I'm not going to take this all apart this first time. Maybe on a, if it's necessary to, to do it later, I will. But uh, I'm just not uh, not feeling that adventurous this evening to uh, to do that. So I'm going to clean this off. Actually got to. Push those in and wipe those off. Those seem to move pretty good. Gotta get the detent ball and the lock face here. And I don't know what this what this symbol is right here. It may be a maker's maker's mark of some sort. All right, let me get a <clears throat> cotton tip applicator, and I'm going to make sure I clean out those areas of the where the pivot goes. Also, going to clean that out just to make sure there's nothing there. Get some other nooks and crannies here that uh, aren't so easy to get. I want to clean this Zerkuta area here. And around there. Actually, I'm going to grab another one. This one's... Getting soiled. So... Alright, and I'll push that in. And clean around that as well. Okay. Same thing here. Let's wipe around that pivot. And then clean the outside here. Um, I could probably take all of this loose, but again, um, I don't think that's really necessary right now.
So moving this forward moves that pin out as you can tell. Okay. All right. <clears throat> that cleaned up a bit. And I'm actually going to get another alcohol wipe and wipe the interior parts down again. It still feels like there's some grease around. And it, I think they use some sort of, uh, of a heavier grease. So I'm just wiping this back down a little bit. Making sure I get all that good, nice and clean. All right. Okay, let me go ahead and get a fresh alcohol pad. And what I want to do is get the tweezers and get these bearings out. Get those cleaned up a little bit. And I want to get that pivot screw as well. And what I'm doing here, if I can keep a hold of it and not drop it, I'm just taking and putting my fingernail down in those uh, threads and backing out, trying to get any kind of re residual um, Loctite that may be in the screws. And just generally clean that up. A little bit all right let's go ahead and put this on if it's a um, if it's a pocket in the blade or a pocket in the scales I just try to put that open end where that pocket is and in this case the pockets in the blade so Put a little bit there. I'm trying to determine if I can just put a drop here. And the same thing for here. No need to put a lot, I don't believe. All right. <clears throat> So now I've got to figure out how I want to do this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this in place here. I'm actually going to go ahead and put that on and put a little bit of gunny glide there. All right, let's move that out of the way. And uh, let's see, how do I want to do this? Because let me, let me kind of fit this first and make sure that that's how it's going to go. All right. And that little screw. That little this is going to be a, a lot of fun I can tell all right all right somehow I'm actually going to lift this blade off. 
and set it to the side over here because what I want to do is get some of these screws in place and Okay, that's not going to work. Let me change hands and try not to drop anything. <clears throat> if you if you remember back when I first started this, I did say that we were going to try to do this. And I think this actually needs to come up and that needs to go back. Okay. The pin needs to right there. Okay. Something to remember on this one as well, and I'm, I'm making sure this pin this pin here. is going to fit down into that hole there. All right, so let's see if I can put this spring on. And again, I did not get the spring on that time. Spring is on right now. Okay. Just trying to think through this, make sure that I am doing it correctly. I don't recall if I put gunny glide on this side, so I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to try and fit this together. Again, I'm going to have to make sure that that um, pin goes into that there, as well as everything lining up. Okay. Take and push that back just a little bit. This should pop into place. Okay. It appears to be working. So while I'm holding this together, I'm going to get a little bit of Loctite on that. And get that put in place. Just tighten it down enough to, to hold everything in first. And then we'll worry about adjusting it. All right, what I want to do is go ahead and get these in place. I still was, had one over on this side. We'll tighten it up. Tighten this up. Uh, we're 20 minutes in, which is a little long for a disassembly and cleaning video. But... Um, Considering the circumstances, not uh, not too crazy, I don't think. All right, 
get this tightened up. Not, I just snug that I didn't tighten it all the way. Again, I'm doing the same for, for these here. And then what I want to do is go back in and uh, make sure they're snugged up good. Nothing crazy. Just enough to, to hold them. All right. Centering's looking pretty good. Uh, let me slide this and that pops that out. And that's no blade play. Those are working good. All right. Well, hmm. Everything seems to be working as uh, designed. Um, so I'm going to count that for a win. Uh, action's pretty good on it. Um, centering is good. And it's smoother than it was before. So, uh, and that works. So, good to go. There you have it. That's the Riot T6000 disassembling cleaning. Appreciate y'all watching. Hope y'all have a wonderful rest of your day. Hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment, all that kind of good stuff. Appreciate you watching. Hope to see you again soon. Thanks.